A lot of people do not understand how someone in my life situation can be happy. And I genuinely don't understand how someone in your life situation is cannot be happy, right? The way I look at life is it's all about perspective. It's all about how you choose to look at the world and how you choose to look at your own life. What you do with your life is your choice. Do you blame others for where you are or do you blame yourself? Do you try or do you know you could try more, try harder? Do you, are you comfortable even though you want more? Are, are, like These are questions that I ask because I do not want to be comfortable. I'm not chasing comfortability. So many people confuse comfortability with happiness. They think, because people only want money because they want to be comfortable. It seems like, this is what, you know, the, all the people that say, oh, I want a million dollars. All those people, it seems like they genuinely don't want a million dollars. They want what they think the million dollars is going to get them. They think the million dollars is going to make them <clears throat> comfortable, be able to no longer worry, be able to no longer stress, be able to, you know, live stress-free for the rest of eternity. And that's this delusion, right? Because you could win, let's say you win the lottery for $500 million, right? Let's say you $500 million. <clears throat> so now you sit in your home, you buy a house, you buy a mansion, you buy this, you buy that, you buy this, you buy that, you buy this, you buy that. You sit down in your big-ass house and you wonder why you're fucking lonely. You wonder why you're sad, why you do not feel fulfilled, because comfortability is a dream killer. So as soon as you get comfortable, your dreams begin to die because your dreams get replaced with comfortability. Because you had a, your original dream was, was A, let's say your original dream was you wanted to do such and such. But then you, somewhere down the line, you got distracted because you thought you were chasing your dreams, but really you, you started chasing the money. And you were like, oh yeah, my dreams are bringing me money. Fucking great. And then you get comfortable and then you realize that you weren't chasing your dreams. You were chasing your comfortability. I'm someone that literally chases my dreams. That's why I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy because, because I cried today. Right? And people mistake happiness. They think happiness is someone who smiles all damn day. You know, it's mainly because we have this illusion from the Buddhist monks. And nothing against the Buddhist monks. It's just, unless you're a fucking monk that lives in a monastery, then you're not going to be happy like a Buddhist monk. Because you do not live the life of a Buddhist monk. So if you don't live the life of a Buddhist monk, then therefore you're not going to be as peaceful as him. Rich people are rich because of their habits. Poor people are poor because of their habits. Uh, Buddhist monks are happy and peaceful and content because of their habits. So we need to be realistic. So realistically, we live in the Western world, or at least I do, where it requires me to have an apartment. I, I need to pay for the apartment. I need to pay for the bills. I need to pay for the food. I need to pay for this. I need to pay for that. I got to do this. So like this Western world, right, that expects so much of us. Um... I've gone through the struggles in this Western world. I grew up, you know, um, some people would call it like a welfare child, right? Where someone who like, if it wasn't for food stamps, I would have starved. And still to this day, if it wasn't for food stamps, I would be starving today. Um, that's the type of life I've always lived, right? And this is the type of life that all that I know, but it's not all that I know because I am observant of everyone else's reality to know that this is not all there is, which is why I do not allow myself to get consumed by this bullshit because people get consumed by their own bullshit which is what prevents them from being happy you know if I got consumed with the fact that nine months ago I my business you know I had an online business that was doing good and you know it was only making like anywhere from 400 to a thousand dollars a month um 
but it was good enough to survive for now. My girl had a job. We were doing okay. Then my online business started failing. She lost her job and ended up in my mom's. And then here nine months later, had many chances to get an apartment. Things fucked up. My dad fucked me over. Uh, my grandfather died. My grandmother's in the hospital. My friend accused me of robbing them. And uh, then they found out who robbed them, found out it wasn't me. And then my other friend saying I'm a bum because I live with my mom. And, uh, like... There's so much shit I can explain to you that I'm going through. And this is why people, and the people that personally know me in my personal life, they know everything that's going on in my life. I guarantee a lot of them can't understand why I'm happy. I mean, people online don't even understand why I'm happy, let alone people that personally know me, right? And it's mainly because people just, they look at your situation and they try to imagine themselves in that situation. Like if I was in that situation, I would, um, you know, I would do this or do that. Or if I was in that situation, you know, oh my God, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine being happy in that situation. That's because you got, you're too comfortable. You're too privileged. You're too, whatever the, it, the word is, but you're too something. Because life is hard. But that can't stop you from smiling. You cannot allow the hardships of life to prevent you from smiling, from enjoying life. Enjoy the pain. What's so funny is I enjoy pain. I enjoy the struggle. I enjoy the hard times because the hard times are going to make me, are going to help me grow into the man I was meant to be. Right now, I'm not the man I was meant to be. But all these struggles, pains, and hard times that I'm going through in my life, they're allowing me to grow faster, grow, evolve, change, become the wise 90 year old man I was meant to be. And I want to be able to look back at 90 and say I was happy the whole time, which is why I enjoy the struggle. I enjoy the journey itself. This is about enjoying the process.